All right, welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. So we're doing an uh, unconventional stream here on a Tuesday. We've got Jacer with us, trying to make some more progress on the Frozen Horror Quest 10, Frozen Catacombs. And you reminded us that the Potion of Restoration does restore mind points, the Greater Restoration. And so the Barbarian is up to three. I think I'm going to hide the mine points because they kind of obscure. I just brought them up just so we kind of had a uh, an accurate count. I got, I got to restart everything too. I'm stuck in a loop on Twitch. Every time I bring it up, it just brings me to the end of your last one. Oops. <laughs> All right. See you in a minute. Yep. <laughs> All right, and of course, as always, shout out to Carl Casey at Whitebed Audio for the music. I'm going to restart that. So yeah, we were talking some Rise of the Dread Moon. Might have to wait a little while for it to come out. But meanwhile, we've got these quests. So when we last left our heroes, they were facing a bunch of monsters. We got a gargoyle. Um, two orcs and an elite orc and a chaos warrior another chaos warrior that's wounded is down to one body point and then we've got a wounded polar war bear in there in the central room where the ice tunnel leads and then it leads over here to where the other heroes are well the heroes so we've got the knight on top of the ice other end of the ice tunnel we've got the rogue over here the alchemist, the elf, the barbarian. And so the knight is on top of the ice tunnel. So if one of these characters comes through, they're going to push him off over to the side and ends their turn. But it is Zargon's turn. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and take over. No thanks. With my kiddo, HFGL, I'll be around. HFGL. Oh, have fun. Good luck. Okay. I was like, what did you say to me? <laughs> Take this outside. I'm oh, kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Ferg. I was no, going to play. Fun. What did you call this kid? <laughs> like, heroic feel good legend. Yeah. That's what I like to think of. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. It's too bad I can't just blast some magic down that hole or something. So let's see. I'm going to push everybody around. And that can be interesting. All right. I'm going to move the orc. Boom, boom. So he comes down and pushes the knight that way. Let's see. Did anybody land on that square previously? Jaser, do you remember stepping on that square? <laughs> Which one? This one right here. I just pushed him there. I say that because I think there's supposed to be a spear trap there. So, go ahead, uh, roll uh, one combat die. Is that the only one in that room? Because I, well, I encountered a spear trap already. Yeah, the I spear just... trap was was in this room here. But you guys were like, I thought you guys were going around this way. So um, I may have just simply forgot to, either I forgot to do it, or this is the first time someone stepped on it. I don't want to be unfair either. Well, no, I, I already, I did a spear trap, and I did, I disarmed a swinging axe trap. Yeah, that was, that was in this other room over here. In the, with the uh, sorcerer's table. So that was definitely up there. But here, next to the ice tunnel. Well, go ahead and roll uh, combat die, please. And uh, if it's a skull, then he gets hit by a spear trap. Am 
Am I muted again? No. No. Are you checking the tape? <laughs> well, no, because that would take too long. Yeah. I know I dealt with the. I know I dealt with the spear trap already. But. Yeah, there's a lot of traps in these quests. Oh, it was real recent, but I think it was from me jumping or going somewhere before. Yeah, well, when you, you got pushed into this room, into the center room, there was a spear oh, trap. Oh, is that where I hit the... That's yeah. where I hit... Okay, that, then that's where I hit the other spear trap. All right. Okay. But I just... I don't think... I mean, somebody can review the tape and go, oh, you liar. <laughs> it's right there. You know, but I don't think anybody landed on that square, so I'm going to say... No, I, I only remember one spear trap and one... And uh, the pit trap and the swinging axe trap. So, no, if this is a second uh, spear trap, then no, I haven't done it. Okay. All right. Okay, well, since I pushed you into it, go ahead and roll your uh, combat die for the night. Black shield. Okay. It Man, the same shield. thing I rolled last time for spear trap. He's fine. Okay. Okay. All right, the other orc is going to go one, two, three, and he goes in, and we're going to push everybody this way. Okay. Let's see. I think I got to restart again. All right, I'll see you. In I a have minute. audio. I hear. I hear you and everything, but I have no movement on the video, so I'm still looking at the same screen. Interesting. Well, that's not good. No. So let me restart uh, Twitch. Okay. See you in a minute. All right. So the elite orc goes through here, pushing everybody over. Ah. Uh. So there's now three orcs in the room. And let's see, you should probably send this chaos warrior one, two, three. Let's see, push him that way. And the wounded chaos warrior, this is gonna be kind of a mess. Big bloody melee, he goes in there like that. And let's see, let's move the cast warrior in. One, two, three. Uh, let's just move these monsters that way. This way. This way. That way. Let's see, polar war bear. One, two, three, four. So they get moved this way. This way. Polar War Bear has taken four body points of damage. I'll just put it next to him. So he's got two left. Oh, it would be nice if I could seal the room. Let's see, so if the gargoyle moves, one, two, three, four, five. I guess these guys would just move that way. Okay, is that messy enough for you? Very crowded. Yep. Okay. If I adjust the other cameras, let's see if there's a better view. Actually, I can put one of Icarus cameras. 
right above. Maybe. At least you can see the squares a little better. For the strategic combat. Okay, so you've got a Chaos Warrior in the corner, wounded. Another Chaos Warrior next to him. Polar War Bear. Gargoyle, standing on top of the ice tunnel. Above the Gargoyle, you've got the Elf and the Barbarian. Above the Polar War Bear, you've got the Rogue. And to the right of the Rogue, you've got the, the Elite Orc. And on the other side of the Elite Orc, you've got the Knight. The Alchemist is above the Knight and also adjacent to an Orc. And there is an Orc there, but there is a space you could escape through the door if you wanted to. Okay, so that's the end of Zargon's turn. So now we pass to the Barbarian. It, um... <laughs> Barbarian's going to move one space to the right. Okay. He's going to attack the orc next to him. All right. Two black, two white. Molly the murderous. Yep, I'm switching to Discord now. It's a dead orc. Yeah, there's no way I can defend against that. Where's the rogue at? Right next to the polar war bear. See the little knife? He's right next yeah. to the barbarian. Alright, um. I have, uh, the rogue is gonna attack Polar War Bear. Okay. With the longsword? Yes. Okay, and the rule is the monster has to be adjacent to uh, a hero. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so it's got not... two skulls. Just got the three. Okay. Still a pretty good hit. It's not only it's enough to kill him if you don't block. Dead polar war bear. Got him. Cleaning house already. Get some okay. room to breathe. And then the rogue is going to jump in the hole for two spaces ah, and go through the ice tunnel. He was never trapped. One, no. two. And he just sneaks right past him. Uh, it lets me search that room if you don't get a monster back in that hole. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The room would be clear. On your next turn, anyway. Um. Yeah, and well, he already attacked, so he did good. Uh, um. Is the alchemist next? Ah, uh, yes. All right, he's gonna attack diagonally. Okay. Two black with the alchemist staff, so he's attacking the elite orc. For one. Okay. Nope, no defense. You got him. I 
excellent. It's an elite monster taken down. I should be watching the Twitch chat here too. Jason Wolfpack, welcome. All right, he got five, so he's going to move uh, three spaces to the left. And one space... Okay, so this is the alchemist moving? Yes. Yeah, he attacked. He's going to move three one, spaces two, left three, and... Three. And maybe one space up into the corner. Or no, you know what? He'll stay there. He'll, that's probably better. Okay. Probably better spot for him. All right. And then the elf is gonna attack the um, gargoyle. All right. Got to paint over that glue, glue area. Okay. The long sword, one skull. Yep. One skull. It's five defense. Ching. Just barely. <laughs> no damage. Gargoyles are defense. Well, uh, one of the cast warriors is wounded, right? Yes. I want one. the uh, the knight's gonna target the wounded one. Okay. Number two. Number two. Ching, and then another hit. Got him. Got him. Locked one. Yep. Not enough. Yeah. You beat him up pretty bad last time, and uh, regular monsters don't present that much of a challenge, but let's see how you do. So, after that, is the knight going to do any moving? Yeah, uh, nine. So he's going to move above the barbarian. Okay. Um, he's going to use his uncommon feet to try to taunt the uh, orc into attacking him. <laughs> oh, like I'd actually get to attack him? Oh, you're hoping for a wrestling move, I bet. Yes. I am hoping for a wrestling room. Okay, if you get a skull... Oh, I got a shield. Okay. Damn it. Nope, he's scared of my armor. Nope. <laughs> you, did the, uh, you did the Bruce Lee, like, come here thing, and he just, like, he just, like, rubbed his nose with his thumb and just ignored it. It's like, what? <laughs> he didn't fall for it. Yep, and he's should've, probably should've... trying to tell the gargoyle how stupid the knight is. Should've they poked, can't talk. Should have poked him in the chest and done, pointed at him like Hulk Hogan style. Finger poking uh, doom. I'm mixing up my and, rest uh, of the stream. That, that makes it your turn. Oh, yes. My turn. Where did I put my evil cards here? Yeah, so some of the uh, custom merch that I created finally arrived in the mail yesterday. I'm going to be taking it with me to Gen Con, but I'm not going to spoil it here, what what I'm bringing. Yeah. We'll try to get some photos and things later. Okay, alrighty then. So I've lost a lot of monsters already. I just think here. Looking at what everybody has for healing. It's easy because we were just here, so we don't have to worry about forgetting everything. Pretty sure everybody has healing of some kind. 
I think almost everybody. I think they all have two again. You have to start whittling down your body points. The knight's pretty hard to crack. The rogue has been fortified. And you're protecting the alchemist. It's a pretty good strategy there. So elf, knight, or barbarian. Looks like it's going to be the elf. All right, so the gargoyle is attacking the elf. Missed. I got a wrestling move. He missed. Oh, oh. <laughs> you don't have a buckler. Yeah. It would have been great. It would have been great. Yeah. I well, would have had a wrestling I, I, move if I was a hero, but no. So, okay. I could remove myself, but then... The rogue isn't very powerful. He's got three. Of course, he could come in. I'm gonna keep the uh, keep the gargoyle there for just just the time being, or maybe not. No, I'm not, because then I won't get the extra attack. Yeah, I guess I'll be disrupting things. Okay, so the the gargoyle is going to go through the ice tunnel, pushing the rogue to the side. And now we're going to get, oh, but I still can't can't do what I wanted. <laughs> okay, well I still do something. Okay, so the chaos warrior is going to move forward. Boom, boom. And attack the elf. One skull. Okay, elf, defend yourself. On the shelf. One shield. <laughs> Dang. Wow. Okay. Ka ching And let's see, between the Barbarian, he's got to five defense. The Knight is six. Because he's got ten body. Oh, seven. seven They're right? both down to seven. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Both got lots of healing. All right, we're going to move over and attack the uh, Barbarian. One skull, Barbarian. Yeah, with the wrestling moves, once you get those three defend dice, there's always a possibility. Ah, so you lost one. Yep. Six for the Barbarian. I mean, you drew first blood, not me. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, you know, we forgot all about your uh, halberdier. Were you wanting to move that halberdier on the last turn? Oh, yeah, you are supposed to. Uh... Sorry, I forgot all about him. You can only move six squares. Uh, just put them on the secret door tile. Okay. Two, three, four. All right. Okay, so I did my turn, and then now it's going to be your turn. Right. Um. 
you back here. The barbarian. It's gonna attack the uh, the chaos warrior. Okay. I can do wrestling moves too, you know. <laughs> Two skulls. Okay. Yeah, if anybody in the Twitch chat wants to join in, you have channel points, you have gold coins, you can buy potions for heroes, you can buy monsters for Zargon, you can buy cards. Um, whatever you want. Whatever you think. Okay, so two skulls. That's my defense. Cha-ching! Two black shields. How do you like that? Nice, pretty nice. All right, what next? Uh, the rogue. Um, actually, how far is the barbarian from the hole? Three squares. Barbarian's gonna jump in the ice tunnel. Okay. One, two, three, boom. He goes oh. over, pushes the gargoyle forward. Boom. Ending his turn. Now, so. All right, so I need a three. The rogue. What are you attacking him with? I got to move to try to get him flanked. I need to roll a three or higher. Yep, eight. So the rogue moves to the other side of the gargoyle. And uh, then he attacks with the long sword. Okay, so Verg, I'm just saying in this chat right now, you can, if you want, you can use your gold coins for whatever. I don't know, have you not cashed in anything before? You just click the uh, little treasure symbol, throw in whatever you want. I mean, I leave it up to the, to the fans in the chat to do what they want. So he did just kill a bunch of my monsters. I'd like some monsters, please. <laughs> You're like, no, wait, 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 I'd like some potions. Some people uh, help both. I've heard of that happening. Okay, so you attacked. Yep, two. And you got two skulls, I see. Okay, so Gargoyle defends with five. Ching, and a hit. Okay, so it's damaged. Two body points left. The mighty Gargoyle. Elverg redeemed a chaos card for Zargon. Thank you. Just want to start talking like the Emperor. With each passing moment, you make yourself more my servant. It's like, whoa, dude. All right, I should probably shuffle these. I haven't shuffled them in a long time. Sixteen point seven K coins. Well let's just end it right now. Let's just get a total party kill. You just buy me everything that I could possibly want. <laughs> Kidding. If that were the case, it'd be like, listen, we need to get somebody in here <laughs> to counter. Can anybody counter his gold? Yeah, but I just have to stop playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We don't want to lose you, Jacer. Like, yeah, I'm done for the day. Uh, yeah, here's all the bunch of... Uh, I need to restock. 
<laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, though, a total party kill does not end the game. What it does no. is it just makes you... I have uh, the two 37.1k. Wow. Stop playing so that you can use your gold coins to start influencing things. And then just leave it open. Yeah, see, we've, we've discovered a loophole. He'll stop playing. <laughs> Take a breather. Even the odds. Come back. Uh, yeah. If he bums equipment for heroes, I'd do that like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have set limits on things, so it won't totally yeah, well, solve the quest, but it will be very different. I don't think that equipment would really help me anyway. Yeah, not necessarily. It'd be like a free way to get gold. Right, which what doesn't help me right now anyway. You can't spend it in the middle of the dungeon, so... Yeah. We've had, uh, some people have been lurking a long time. And to be fair, I mean, not everybody can make the Saturday stream, so... Anyway, here we are on a Tuesday. Okay, so... so uh, got my, got my okay. Chaos card. Okay. Is that one that's used right away, or is that a different... No, the Chaos cards I can use anytime I want to. I can save them up till the very end. Okay. Um, um, with the Zargon Alchemist cards, then? I'm only supposed to have three of them at a time. So if I draw one, I gotta use it or discard it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the the other the threat cards. Yeah. So. Okay. Right, right. So. These are the Ron Shirts cards. These are of the Shang uh, Evil Wizard deck. So those are the two kinds. So you can have three of each card. Well, I can have okay. I can have three of these. Do you really want to know how many of these uh, chaos cards I have? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. I didn't know. That's why I was asking if you could have three of each instead of just three cards. Oh no, I've got six of the chaos cards. I can have as many of those as you give to me. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Now, when the quest ends, know, I, yeah. No, I didn't yeah. know how it worked. Oh yeah, yeah. Well. The way the the original design was, the uh, pure combat guys get two. And I was thinking, okay, maybe, you know, as time goes on, that changes. But, yeah, instead of me starting with any, I just waited for people to give them to me. So I've accumulated a few. But I won't show you what they are until I use them. <laughs> I'm a, when you think about it, the Frozen Horror gets how many spells? I'll let you think about that. Okay. I don't, I, I don't even know how many he has. A lot. I would guess all of them. All, well, all of the ice spells that came with the game. So it's the alchemist then? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, let me switch cameras Sorry. here. Since you're using a phone, I think it's probably better than trying to do the split screen. Yeah, it's it's. I could see more of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's gonna attack diagonally. Okay, so going for the cast warrior. Two black. Yeah. Missed. Alright, um, he moves one space north into the corner. Alright. Alright, the, um, the elf moves one space up as well and attacks the Chaos Warrior with his longsword. Fortune's longsword, okay. Um, no, he's got a regular one, I think. The elf. Oh, no, you're right. I'm thinking of the knight. Oops. Yeah, regular longsword. Two skulls. Two hits. And, um... The knight is going to attack. 
and he will be using Fortune's Longsword. Ah, uh, against the orc, okay. One. Nothing. Got him. All right. Got all the orcs. Frozen Catacombs. That's what we're playing here on HeroQuest fans. Listen to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. Check him out on YouTube. Playing with Jacer J. Builder 22. Alvadir is just going to walk to the ice tunnel. Four, five, and go in. Yeah. Six. Boom, boom. Comes out the other side to the red room. With the slippery ice. My turn. Yes, it is. Gargoyle's going to attack the rogue. Missed. So I rolled one, right? And I missed. Ah, no buckler at counterattack. One, two. Well, that's, that's twice now that he missed the counterattack. Six. Gargoyle moves six movement, I think, right? Uh, either six or six. seven. Six, six, seven okay. is the Chaos Warrior. So six. I just had to think about okay. it. Okay. Yeah, it's true. They could have skipped the Gargoyle and just given us five Chaos Warriors in the box and then just had the quest notes differentiate them. But... Yeah, especially they if they gave, if they made the one slightly different, it would have still worked the same way with the orc or, having a notch sword. It's like, oh, the one, the one with the two axes does this. Actually, what they could have done is instead of the gargoyle, just use the chaos warlock. If you're trying to conserve pieces, I mean, the gargoyle is a really cool character to show off. But how many times does he appear at the same time as all the other monsters? So. If you want one unique character, you've got the Cat's Warlock. If you want two, you've got the Gargoyle. Easy to differentiate them at, on site. Yeah. But you could always do yeah. all kinds of combinations. Oh, he's the one skeleton in the room with all the, you know, forks or something. You know, whatever. I get the fact that people want to have unique miniatures, and I'm not against it. I'm just saying, like, yeah, you know. If, it, if I were given the choice between a brand new character and just more of the same, I'd rather have a brand new character. But that's me. There's, you know, it's, people buy multiple game systems so they can have like double the monsters. That's just what they want to do. Okay, so the Gargoyle moved into the corner by the bookcase. Let me just double check to see. So that just book, a, like the the, the guard square. seems like weird in that it's a Magnus guard. They didn't call it like a knight or anything like that, and that it has very close stats to the Elven warrior and the Dread warrior. So it's not much more than the warrior. Like I I get that, and it's some type of magic guard. Yeah. So like I understand why they felt the need after making the character to pump up his defense. Yeah. And if they made it a 4-5, then yeah, it would have been the same as a gargoyle. If they made it, they could have made it a 4-6, and then ah. it's the same as a special doom guard. Ah. You know what I mean? So, like, it, it's where do you go with yeah. it, you know what I mean? Without them going too high, and they can't, they don't want to change yeah. the body points, maybe, because they want all the elves to have three, because all the mercenaries have two. And yeah, the elves are now, the, all the elves are as strong as the the dread warriors with the body points so all that's right. all the same and mute 
So it's I think like they could have went higher on that and went with four body points because they don't have a lot of... I don't know if they have anything with four body points. They got three, they got five, they got six, they had ten. One, two, three. So they could have given it four body points to make it a little different than the Dread Warrior. But no matter what they did, it would have always been one step over the Dread Warrior. Just giving it the spells makes it better. Just giving it one movement technically makes it better. So no matter what stat they tweaked, it would always be slightly better than a Dread Warrior because it had to be better than the Elven Warrior already. Otherwise, there's no point in them making it. They would have just given us yeah. two not, warriors and two archers. Not to relitigate the whole thing. I, If it had been me, I would have maybe made him better in one area and worse in some other area. Or just give him some totally new gimmick. Spells are nice. Okay, so welcome, Swyward Scored. <laughs> ah, Dead Space Scary, yeah. Uh, we're playing HeroQuest. This is HeroQuest fans. Thank you for the raid. I love the recording we have from... Um, <laughs> getting all choked up about it. I love the raid sound that we have from uh, Return of the King. Um, it's pretty pretty fun, pretty awesome. So, yeah, thanks for joining us. So we're playing the Frozen Horror. Um, you can actually start participating now if you want. Uh, raiders you can actually use your channel points or gold coins to influence the quest you can buy stuff for the good guys you can buy stuff for the bad guys so churro dealer one is also here and lilianiski i'm saying that wrong but welcome all and if someone wants to take control of a hero all you got to do just let us know go ahead and jump into the hero quest fans discord which you see displayed on your screen at the bottom with the yellow right there and you can just type that in and go to the voice channel known as Quest Talk. Right now, Jacer is controlling the four, the five heroes and the one mercenary against Zargon, myself. Okay, so um, I failed to counterattack. Yeah, you failed to counterattack with the buckler. It's fine. I moved the gargoyle to safety. And you got and your chaos warrior. Good warrior, chaos warrior. Yeah, dreadful chaos warrior. Side. I think the elf is going to be the weak point here. Let's attack in there. So we jump up and attack. Of course, Ribby designed our mentor bot dice. Three skulls. Dang. Oh, three and shield. three shields. Ching and a right, move. pile driver. All right. Bam. He's out. That's it. The end of the cast warrior. Finished him off. Nice. Oh, he's not getting up after that one. Jason Wolfpack, thanks for the bonus equipment. Uh, do you have a preference for which hero it goes to? I mean, I guess Jacer can decide. Okay, so we're going to draw a bonus equipment. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Oh, I gotta. It's a sling. Sling. Whichever hero has the least defend die right now. Well, this is actually a weapon. Its leather strap allows you to attack enemies at range with one combat die, but not adjacently. Unlimited supply of stones. Wizard. Yeah, you could use yeah. it. Alchemist? Alright. You know Alchemist the gets a sling. Attack. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> well, and as far as the least defend die, I mean, the way it works out, yeah. Because he, he only has four. So we'll add a sling. Okay, cool. Alright, so... My monsters <laughs> kind of got whittled down. So, okay, back to the Barbarian. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm wrong. Hold on, this this corn. Uh, one d six. He's moving. Hopefully. One d six plus two. Six plus two. All right. Yes. Like Jason. Jason. Wait a minute. <laughs> Four spaces to the left. Attack the. Uh, Gargoyle. And locking him in the corner. All right. All 
All right, two black, two white. Molly the murderess. Let's see what you got. Two black, two white. Otherwise, I'm going to choke slam me into the bookcase if I get three. Three. Spins. Oh, man. That could be a kill. You need to get all three. Well, no, you don't. You got multiple oh, body points. Ching, and then two hits. Uh, that was it. You got him. That's it, though. I don't even need to put the damage down. Slain the gargoyle. Slayer. All right. That was an heroic effort. Yeah, that was a lot of jumping between the ice tunnels, too. Yeah. Um... The rogue is going to search for traps. Searching for traps, okay. No traps detected. Alright. Um... Yeah. The alchemist is the, the alchemist, the elf, and the knight will all enter the tunnel. Okay. So just and they won't be able to move, so you can just put them in any of the three spaces or whatever around the tunnel. One, two, three. Okay. Four. Okay, so I just put them like that. Alchemist, elf, knight. All right, and the uh, mercenary. The halberdier is going to stay where he's at, or he move one space to the right or something, so he's not standing on the tunnel. Okay. I could bring a little more light to bear. That's a little better. You get to draw a card. Yeah, don't have any monsters. I just want that card that says all the monsters respawn with like double, double damage. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Okay, back to you. Uh, barbarian searches for secret doors. No secret doors found. Alright, so I moved everybody in here for nothing. Uh, uh, the rogue moves down one. Well, they can all search the room, right? It's up to you what you want to do. Five heroes means five treasure searches. You need a bigger view? Welcome to HeroQuest fans. Participate in the, the elf. Twitch. Actually, the elf is going to move one space up and one space to the right. So that he's next to the rogue. And he's going to search for treasure. Okay. So like this. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he's next to the rogue. Okay. So the elf is searching for treasure. The first hero to search for treasure in this room finds two potions of healing hidden behind the bookcase. Each How one many? two. Okay. Each one restores four lost body points. So two plus fours for him. So now he has four of those totals. And he also finds an alchemist item. So I'll draw one of these for you. 
Firelands. So that's going to be like your Fire of Wrath, except it's uh, an item. Scroll. Got it? Yeah. So not too shabby. Not bad at all. All right, night. We're going to have the knight go through the tunnel, back to the other side. Okay. Not trusting the treasure deck, huh? <laughs> no. I, it's, it's just brutal with two of them. Like, uh, one's brutal, but two is kind of brutal. <laughs> one's hard enough. But yeah, man, taking four attacks. Well, he's got that. Uh, he's got that nice bonus, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he would have only right, and only one of them could have hit him from where he was. Well, and if he had the heroic brew, would he get a black uh, die against both of them if he did two attacks? I would say sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he moved into the room, and now the uh, halberdier. Alvedere is going to move to the two spaces south. So he's on the edge of the ice. Okay. That's it. All right. I'll draw my one of my cards. <laughs> Death seems to have come too early for some. So I get to bring back the monster you killed in the last round, so that would be the gargoyle. He's back! Alright, but he doesn't get to do anything because I just bring him back. Okay. Your turn? Yeah. Kill him again. Yeah. Barbarians. <laughs> Thunder as usual. Three skulls. <laughs> Molly swings hard and swings fast. I think he was startled. Seriously? You just yes. one shot at a gargoyle. <laughs> it's like uh, in the movies where it's like, comes back for one more scare. It's like, oh. Let me just uh, let yeah. me just check and see. I'll just like pose for the photo and ah, and then he just stabs him right in the back. Ugh. Is that it? Was like the jump scare. Yep. Yeah. Jump ah. scare reaction. <laughs> jump scares the movie. Okay, not bad. All right, and then he uh, darts into the tunnel. Okay, so unthreatened movement. One, two, three, four out the other side pushing the knight to the side and the, uh, the other three in there are gonna follow suit the ro uh, rogue alchemist and elf Push them all down the line. OK. 
Okay, you're all back in the green room. And the, uh, the knight moves 12 spaces towards the halberdier, avoiding any of the discovered trap tiles. Or suspicious trap tiles. 3, 4, 5, tiles. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Now, Habadir is going to take his first step out onto the ice. Okay. Roll your dice. Wasn't going to try to double dutch over it. It's fine. No. It's okay. Right. And then the next one. Safe. Still falling. And then his third step's right there. He's going to hang out right there. In the hallway? Yes. Yep. All right. After everybody was slipping and falling, nobody's watching, and he can just do it easily. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you put everybody in the room, somebody always falls. <laughs> it's the observer effect. Okay. My turn. Play this card immediately after drawing it. Okay, so let me just see if this is even going to be applicable. Yes, it is. Okay. One of the heroes may pick an unexplored room. The contents of this room must be revealed without opening the door. Find a map with details of the dungeon. Okay. Well, as far as unexplored rooms, what do you think? I'll show you the whole board there. Where do you think? I guess you could tell me by color or whatever else. You basically uh, been to the top half of the board so far. Yeah. Let's go with the four by five uh, reddish brown room. This one here? Yeah, reddish brown, four by five. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that room without opening the door. Okay, so I have to reveal it. And let's see what else is in there. A table. Somebody's going through the table. <laughs> yep. And that's a hell in a cell match. You can tell me this was a steel cage match. You're going that's somewhere. Right. Door I got you. I used to do, I used to do that all the time with the doors too. Nope, oh, you're locked in with the monsters. The door automatically closes. <laughs> Not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> All right. So after that, it's back to you. From the Halberdier's vantage point, would you have already seen that door? No. Okay. That's always the question. I mean... Maybe Hispazargon would say yes, because if you're touching that corridor, it's like you revealed it like a room. Maybe he would have said that, yes, you would have seen it. I okay. personally would think, okay, the corner of that wall prevents it. Maybe you just see this little part here. Okay, so I would have only seen a couple of spaces. All right. But yeah, did the, the question is, did I forget to reveal it? Maybe if somebody went over here? I don't know. If so, whoops. Uh, no, I think my guys went, came in from the north. They just went directly in. Okay. Well, Barbarian? The, uh, bar yeah, eight, eight spaces towards that unopened door. So 
Let him go around the trap tile there. Yes, please. Um, the rogue is going to move 12 spaces. End up somewhere by the night. Um, the alchemist is going to do the same thing, moving 12 spaces towards the rogue. The elf is going to move six spaces towards the barbarian. Wait a minute. The elf is moving only six spaces? Did I mishear you? I did him out of order. After the... Yeah. Elf is going to be the knight, and he'll move. Wait, Jaser. <laughs> Twelve Sorry. spaces. Okay, so you see where the barbarian is. So then, the rogue went in there, the adjacent room, and then where was the alchemist supposed to go? Twelve spaces towards the barbarian. Maybe you're getting caught up on the Twitch stream. Um. Yeah. Did. Or did they all move? I I got. Is everybody moving towards the barbarian? Is that the point? Oh, the well. Because I, I to got, a point. I, the, the two guys that moved twelve. Oh, I thought I was in order. The rogue moves twelve towards the knight. Yep. The. Then it was the the alchemist moves twelve towards the rogue. The elf moves six spaces towards the barbarian, and then the knight moves twelve spaces towards the halberdier. Okay, because the knight the the plate armor. Yes. Okay, and then the knight moves towards the halberdier. I get it now. But uh, yeah, I didn't have any audio, so all I heard was all all I had was silence. Oh shoot. I saw your hands move, and then it looked like you moved a guy, moved a guy back, and then I didn't know what happened. <laughs> Fooled ya. <laughs> yeah, let me just make sure. And then uh, the halberdier is just going to move one space uh -oh. to the right at the end. Uh oh, did we did we not have audio for that whole thing? Uh -oh. I I don't know if we. We had it because I heard you before. Okay. But after I started well, moving or telling you where to move the pieces, I had nothing on Discord. Well, but I, I don't have the volume up on Twitch, so I don't know if there's any Twitch I volume. I apologize because I don't, if, if the audio switched, I didn't see when it happened. So, unfortunately, that's been a problem with the Discord lately. Um, but, yeah, but now we should everybody should be able to hear me. So, welcome yeah. to your request, well, <laughs> Most of the time when I can't hear you, you, everybody can still hear you on Twitch. It's just for some reason it's the Discord that In cuts Discord. out first. Yeah. And I don't mind that so much, just that, yeah, you're going to have a hard time understanding what to do. I just don't want it to be lost on the recording. So, actually, at the one time this, this happened, uh, you guys were pretty good because you would repeat back what I said, so it would still be on the recording. So at least we could follow along. Okay, so everybody moved pretty much where you were telling him to move. The elf couldn't uh, move as much because he has the plate armor. Yep. And the uh, the halberdier oh, the is going to move one space to the right. Now wait a minute. You want oh, the, the, knight? the knight. He's going to move twelve spaces towards the halberdier. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fleet footed. Okay. okay, and then the halberdier is going to do what? Uh, he's going to move one space to the right. Jump to the right. If you couldn't then, see the door before, he can definitely see it now. Yeah, and then uh, he's going to also take one step back. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Uh, yep. Just want to make sure there's no traps there, so hopefully the knight can search on the next round. So that brings it back to your turn. Put himself in harm's way for the sake of the heroes. What a hero. Okay, randomly pick a hero. That hero loses 50 gold. Suddenly it's about a hole in your pocket. Uh, there's a couple of them that have gold. Yeah. Uh, uh, to make it a little more fair, I'm going to just do a random... Okay, good. I hope you get one that has no gold. <laughs> Five. Okay. Uh, That'd be the knight. The knight. He doesn't have any gold. Nope. He's one that has no gold. He found a hole in his pocket. But he found a hole in his pocket. <laughs> yep, found a hole in his pocket. Oh, that lint I was saving, it's gone. Yeah, I think the elf has 50. I think the uh, yeah, barbarian has 50. I should have just picked one. I should have just picked one. Well, anyway. I think they, bo they both have barbarian. 50, and I think the... Uh... Wizard has 200. Rogue yeah, has he's the one with he... See, it's like the oh, one guy both... that didn't have it. That's why yeah, he didn't have yeah. any gold. Well, I was going to say, the elf had no, no gold up until the last game when he got 50, I think. See, it matters who you give the money to. Mm -hmm. Okay, Barbarian, back to you. Uh, he is going to move eight spaces towards the knight. Everybody's going to move towards the knight. Okay. One, two, He'll move his eight spaces. Eight. The rogue and the alchemist, 12 each. And then six for the, the slow elf. Two, three, four, five, six. six. Okay, you didn't quite see all that, but there they all are. So we've got knight, rogue, alchemist, barbarian, elf. All right, the, knight, the knight's going to move into the corner and search for traps down that hallway. Two, three, four, five, right here. Yes. Okay, no traps detected. Okay. Um, the halberdier is going to walk two, three, four spaces and look down that other corridor. Check the rewards queue to see if anybody else. Okay, so we got those two completed. So yeah, thanks, uh, Jason Wolfack and thank you also. Where's the other one? Oh, Elberg. Yeah, Elberg, Jason Wolfack. Thank you both for cashing in. Okay. All right, so he looks down the hallway, and he doesn't see a thing. Surprise! I guess you draw a card then. Don't mind if I do. I'm for like a surprise skeleton or something, so I don't have to worry about drawing a card. Powers of chaos suddenly surge to overwhelming strength. So all heroes must roll a combat die. Any who roll a skull miss their next turn. Okay, so roll for the Barbarian. One combat die. Should I, just, should I just roll at the beginning of each one of their turns? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that'll make it easier. So we'll see if he misses his turn.
Okay, he didn't miss his turn, so he can just take his turn. Eight spaces. Alright, just keep going the same way. Yep. Eight. Eight. Rogue. Twelve. I don't know yet. Oh, you gotta see if he misses. Uh, oh, no, he misses oh, the turn. Misses turn. <laughs> All right. Alchemist. Alchemist moves, 12. Okay. Safe. Safe. You want him to be ahead of the halberdier or go down the hallway? Just one, uh, one space ahead of him. Yep. Okay. And then um, the elf. The elf uh, stays where he is. And then the uh, knight. Oh, the elf. The knight off. <laughs> yep, so does the knight. And the halberdier will move one space to the right. And then. If he's safe there, he's going to move the space the to the right. <laughs> Yeah, he got a white shield. Okay, so he's good. So, you want him to move down the hallway? Yeah, one space down the hallway. And then he's going to move one space to the left and two spaces down. And be underneath the uh, the alchemist. Got it. Got it. Alright. He does some more fancy footwork trap te testing. Ribby just <laughs> redeemed two uncommon feats. So I'm going to ask Ribby what he thinks they should be. Because otherwise, when you're, they just, you're just saying. When they, when they redeem them, it's, it's more or less that they're just suggesting them ones, or if I do those ones, do they automatically pass? Well, I would roll for them just like anything else. It's, okay. This is more like a suggestion, a but suggestion. I mean, he's basically... Okay. How about double movement? Double movement. Okay. What's the other one? Might be for the uh, the elf and the barbarian, so they can catch up. Oh, like they're both double movement. Well, that might be why there's two of them, two uncommon feats. To, one time diagonal movement. Oh, okay. interesting. Okay. All right. Whoever he wants. Okay, so roll the first one for the double movement. Skull is a success. Success. Ah, you got to do it. Oh, uh, yes. I, I I'm, last not, time. I'm not in this. Yeah. Let's get tired. Now's the time to strike. Somebody, somebody has to cash in John Cena. Nope. Double movement failed. Oh, he got all gear. He did the cartoon thing where he's like one of his, he's pawing the ground with one of his feet, building up uh, dust, and then he just kind of like tripped over his own shoelaces. Dang it. Diagonal movement passed. All right. So. James, are you ready? Yeah, uh, I guess we've diagonally one. Okay, so, uh, who's moving diagonally? The halberdier. Alright, it's like, whoa! Whoa! There's oh, the matrix no. around the corner. Yep. yep. Did, like, a wall run. Did, like, like twirled over the... Like a pole vault. Hero Quest Hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And that makes it your turn. Yes, it does. It does. All right. Lure I mean, effectively, it did can. make three of them uh, miss their turns. <laughs> yep. L Lure of Chaos. Choose one mercenary, not a hero, and roll one combat die. And a black shield, replace the figure with a Chaos Warrior. Mercenary's friend is then tempted by chaos. Small chances of succeeding, so. Nope. He resisted the temptation. After all that Matrix team, he couldn't uh, couldn't turn evil. Yeah. He's having too much fun fighting for the good guys. Okay, all right, back to you. All right. Uh, the Barbarian. Uh, eight spaces. I just assumed you wanted him to go closer to the pack, is that right? Yeah. I want to, yep, yeah, I want him closer. Um... <laughs> I like these cards, like but at the, the same cards. time, some monsters would be nice. <laughs> the rogue and the alchemist can move their 12 spaces next. Okay. Uh, do you want him towards the door or down the other hallway? Oh, actually, you know what? He gets searched for... Have him search that side hallway for traps. And he oh. can move one space down the hallway, the the one space that the halberdier checked, and have him search for traps. Okay. See, I feel like I'm going to become like one of those e-beggars. Like, instead of be begging for subs or begging for donations, I'm going to be begging for monsters. It's like, come on. If you see, a, if you see a, a guy with a white beard and a red and black cape, like sitting by the side of the road and he's got a cardboard sign that says, you know, we'll generate monsters you know, for food. Yeah, yeah. Give, give him a spare goblin. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. If, if evil's been beaten that badly, we're, do, we're doing okay. Okay, no traps detected. Um, the alchemist uh, down there in that corner and search that other hallway that the halberdier is on for traps. Yeah. No traps. Okay. Try to uh, speed up the finale of this. Alright. Um, the elf is gonna try to uncommon feet for the double movement. And he got a skull. Well, I had to He's approve still far. first. I approve. Uh, <laughs> Alright. To so move the... Yeah, the elf. He's gonna actually get a little bit of a chance to catch up. I think he's the farthest one back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, he's breathing hard. The sweat is just pouring down him. But he's like, how does that? How does that knight make it look so easy? <laughs> that armor. All right, and then um, the knight. I move the knight. Three spaces and search for secret doors. Okay, wait, where is the knight searching for secret doors? Uh, down the hall, down the hallway. Oh, I see. One, two, three. Down this horizontal hallway. Yeah, the one with the the rogue in it. Yes. No secret doors detected. Okay. And uh, Halberdier is going to take two steps to the left and take a look. <laughs> so yeah, those will be going again tomorrow. It's about the square bases. I accidentally messed up mailing. Oh, and they came back to me. Darn it. See, I was looking forward to those. Shoot. Well, that's okay, Ribby. 
I expect them to be even better when they come through. Well, there's still time for me to get them before uh, Gen Con. So I could always show them off to people there and say, hey, this Ribby guy is making cool stuff with his 3D printer. Uh, more, more bases like this, but for the squares. Okay, so he moved down to the double corridor, checking it out, and you don't see anything. Okay. Uh, it's a new card for you. All right. That's okay, Ribby. Uh, try again. Okay, I'm going to do a random for this. Let's see. I'll roll a six. Six, three. Okay, so pick a random hero. I just chose the wizard. That hero triggers an unseen pit trap. Place a pit trap tile on the board. Despite precautions, you spring an unseen trap. So I just drew that. Gotta find a pit trap tile. So the alchemist just fell into a pit trap. Ah, clunk. Takes one body point of damage. It's down to one. Yes, knocks it down to one. At least they weren't lost in the mail. Okay. Yeah, and, and even though they got returned, uh, thanks for thanks for sending <laughs> sending them my way. Hopefully, I mean, there's still time for Gen Con if you want to send them again. Okay, sorry. Barbarian's turn. Uh, he's going to... And it... uh, he's going to run eight spaces down that side hallway. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think the way it's being explained to me is that once he touches this square, he should be able to see the entire corridor up and down. If you treat it a corridor like a room, that's that's what it would be. But not before that. Um but to actually rogue, someone, the you actually have to be in the corridor. The rogue's going to move over there into that corridor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. He doesn't see anything. Uh, searches it for traps. Sense of danger, but can't quite pinpoint where it's coming from. Okay. Um... Chill sure. down its spine, up and down its spine. The elf is going to move six spaces, going, I think, down and can't see where he's at, but I believe he's still running south. Yes. Two, four, six. Uh, have him go to the left. Oh, instead of going to the right? Yeah. Okay, I think he ends up right there. Yep. All right, and then... Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot the alchemist. Yeah, uh, he's in the pit trap. Yeah, he's hiding, hidden behind the door. 
from your point of view. Yeah, uh, he's going to open that door. Yep, he can certainly do that. Okay. And take one step inside that new room and search it for traps. Steps inside and immediately lands on a patch of slippery ice. I think there's a trap in here. <laughs> All right, roll your die. Skull. He's safe. Okay, so he maintains his balance. And then he searches the room for traps. He can't seem to detect any more traps, but yeah, that ice sure is slippery. Okay. Um, all right, then the elf moved... Uh, and then the knight George W2MF8P welcome the knight go up up uh, three spaces and then left to the corner to the corner there yeah, and then let all yeah all the way to the left, and then search for traps. Depending on what he sees. No traps detected, and you don't see anything. Okay. Um, Albedir starts starts marching to the south. All the way. Well, uh, I guess I got. If you can reach. Way. Yeah. Yeah, six spaces. Yep. And to the right, you don't see anything. To the east, you don't see anything. But to the to the west... You do see... I like this new camera thing. I've got a gooseneck. Alright, so there's... What am I doing? A closed door leading to this blue-purple room here. And that's all you see? Okay. There's a door. My turn. Okay. My turn. okay. All right, your turn, barbarian. Still looking for that crystal key. You can head back to... The barbarian's going to start going towards the alchemist. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Rogue. Twelve spaces towards the night. Before that, he's going to search for secret doors. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, no secret doors detected. Alright. So, yeah, then he's going to head towards the night. So he just went that way. Because the knight's over here. We get the alchemist. Searches for secret doors. No secret doors detected. Secret doors. He's going to take a step towards the closed door there. 
All right, he lands on another patch of slippery ice. Roll your one combat die. Actually, I could put two down there. Skull. So he's safe. Now what? He's just, he doesn't fall. No. Oh, that was your role. Yeah. He's safe. <laughs> um, and then the elf. He's not going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> No, because he already searched for secret doors and then took a step. So, no, I don't want to do anything else. And then. You know what? He'll take one step south. Then. I guess it'll be an ice detector. One face down. Nothing happens. All right. And then uh, that's one, two, I guess three steps to the left. Still the uh, alchemist? Yeah, he's gonna keep walking and detecting for ice. Seems okay. And then uh, let's do the full circle and have him go up one and to the right one. <laughs> Seems fine. Okay. And then, uh, well, have the elf go, I guess. Alright, where's he going? Uh, I think he's by the. Uh, yeah, move him six spaces to the left and down and have him search for secret doors. Is he searching this horizontal corridor or the vertical corridor? The, the horizontal one. Okay, no secret doors detected. All right, and then the, the knight is gonna search the vertical corridor there for secret doors. No secret doors detected. Um. I'll be there. He have the knight move. Oh, he's still gonna move. To, okay. to the yeah, he searched. Yeah, he searched. Uh, he's gonna move down into the left, down that horizontal hallway there. All twelve squares. Yeah. So, I, well, just till he gets all the way to the left, I guess. All right, you don't see anything down to the south. Halberdier is going to start walking towards the door. Okay, you landed right on the boot. Excellent. Soft and leathery. Wow. All right, he's going to use an uncommon feat to search the boot. Okay, is it going to be like a treasure search, basically? I could live with that. This is going to be hilarious if it's like a monster or a hazard. <laughs> okay, roll your... Yeah, it, the one time that the, the, the mercenary has a chance for treasure, nah, he failed. Darn it. I was it's just an so empty hoping. boot. It's like I was thinking of it be, like a chance for it to be in the... the uh, <laughs> well, no, I was thinking about the 15 gold that's usually it's found in the, the boot. The toe of an old boot, yeah. Old ones yeah. are known to have things tucked into the toe of them. So yeah, either a gem or or something. Yeah, I like that. That's oh hilarious. man, some type of little yeah miniature monster inside that boot yeah, yeah. would be hilarious. That's what I should have done. I should have printed out 
that uh, that tile right there. Like printed out a whole bunch of them like on a sheet. That would have been great to take to Gen Con. Oh well, next year. Oh, like the yeah, like uh, the my bad photocopy that I put on there or whatever the boot <laughs> tile. Yeah, that would be funny. Be great. That'd be great. I just don't think the turnaround time is. It'll take them too long to actually print it up. I mean, unless I just like printed it myself as opposed to having it professionally done. Yeah, yeah, print, yeah, print a sheet and glue it on the, uh, some cardboard and then uh, cut it all out. Exactly. Yep. And just, it's the right size so that you could just overlay it over any tile to kind oh, of make you, it more retro. You know, actually, if you buy those, uh, like the, the, the little uh, wooden fake gravel tiles that are in like the dollar store in the little bag oh yeah and just, and just glue the boot tile right to them that's that's this nice. way you like the the blank side has the boot on it and then they can flip it over and you got a letter and a number just in case you wanted to use it for a table or something too see and what you get yes this is when you go to hero quest fans this is the kind of uh crafting tips and ideas creativity that you get love it okay all right, so back to me, right? Yes. All right. Oh, yes. Part of evil. Okay, back to you. All right. Um, barbarian. Uh, he goes south, and then he's going to try to jump the pit. Okay. And enter the room with the wizard. Okay. You got to avoid rolling a skull. Oh. oh. He's Bell. in the pit. Okay, so he loses one. Down, down to five. That ends his turn. Alright, are you good on time? Um, I mean, I can keep playing if you're not too tired or don't have something else to do. Yeah, yeah, I was just marking the... Uh... Marking this stuff down. Um, yeah, pro I'm probably good for another 20 minutes or so. All right, that works. Uh, yeah, I got I got to work tomorrow, so 10's kind of a good cutoff for me. Yep. Uh, yeah. I got to work tomorrow too. <laughs> not not till the right. afternoon though, or noon I should say. Still. Yep, got to be fresh and ready for the for the man. All right. The bridge, the rogue at. Oh, the rogue's up there. All right, the rogue is gonna keep running towards the knight. Twelve spins. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Ribby, for the sub. Awesome. Really appreciate that. Ribby with the sub. The alchemist is going to move to the left till he's next to the knight. Okay. Oh, the alchemist is going to move back towards the knight? Oh, no, no. Sorry. that I'm looking at the wrong one. Um, the... Oh, no. The alchemist... The alchemist is going to go down one and to the right till he's up against the wall, diagonal from the closed door. Okay. Done. And then um, it's the the other one is the elf. The elf's going to move towards the knight. I keep seeing the, the the I guess it's the little white head, and I keep thinking that the elf is the is like a gray-haired wizard, and not an elf. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm gonna repaint these guys eventually, but so far I've just been focusing on other figures. Actually, I haven't got too many. Um, and then um, so he went. Okay. Then it's the the knight. The knight's gonna search that hallway there for traps. The one going vertically south. No traps detected. Uh, 
Um, and then that brings us to the Halberdier. He's going to keep walking towards the left corner. Okay. I was going to say, Ribby's going to have a lot of gold. Is that eight months subscription? Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're right up to the door now. Uh, no, he's going to head towards the corner. Corner. Yeah, he's going to step on every square to make sure there's no traps. Yeah, I think subscribing gives you a multiplier. Yeah, when I first heard about the channel points, I thought, oh, I don't want to do this because this is just people spending money to play, pay to win. But but that's the bits are like cheering that you're actually spending money. But you can just follow. That's free. Think, uh, you get stuff. Yeah, I think if you follow, it gives you like a couple hundred for uh, the gold right away. But then when you subscribe, you get some type of multiplier. See, I can't tell because when I look at mine, it just says 2x multiplier. Anyway, it explains it. But yeah, you are going to have a lot of gold. Because <laughs> I only let the people who are not controlling heroes um, use it in the middle of a stream. But yeah, there's future streams. You can always use it for other stuff. And then every time you click it, you get 50. And then every couple minutes, it gives you 10. All right, so he didn't quite make it to the to the edge. My turn. Yeah. Right well, on. yeah. Well, the uh, the knight searched it for traps, so he didn't have to make it all the way to the end. Yeah, assuming it was a detectable trap. Okay, back to the barbarian. Uh, he's gonna go to. Uh, he's gonna open that door there. Okay, so is he just strolling through the ice, or what's happening? Yeah, uh, I guess he tightens the straps on his snowshoes and strolls oh, to the door. You're right, he's, he's safe. I forgot about that. Okay, so boom, boom. Opens the door. I always forget the snowshoes of speed, no matter how hard to try. That's why we need a miniature that's wearing snowshoes. See? Or it's just like the legs. And you just it's a form that fits over all the heroes. Okay, so inside the room, he sees a number of things in the checkered purple room. So there's a door here. And there's also a cupboard up above. And there's some uh, mercenaries that are working for the Frozen Horror inside as well. Let's get them all here. So there's one evil swordsman, another evil swordsman, and an evil halberdier. Right there. All right, Barbarian, what will you do? That's a good question. He hit the halberdier with the fire lance from here. 
I'm gonna say no. He's gonna have to take a step inside the room. Alright, he's gonna stay there then. He becomes Hodor. <laughs> I mean, if you're afraid, you could always try to jump into the room, but you don't know, right? Uh, and I'm worried about them getting to the wizard. Ah, Hodor. Okay. So we're gonna have the rogue. He's, he's next. Rogue's gonna run uh, to the left and down and search for secret doors. Okay, where is he searching? Here? Uh, he's go no, no, the other left. Uh, towards the night and then down. Oh. Whoops. Where was he? Uh, he was somewhere to the right there somewhere. But he's going to move one space below the uh, night and search that for secret doors. No secret doors detected. Alright. Um, oh, wait. He couldn't... Hold on. I That doesn't work. Cause I should have rolled. Because there's monsters? Yeah. yeah. I didn't even think of that, of that either. It's like, they're not, they're not good guy mercenaries. One, two, three, four, five. Something like that. Yeah. He would have moved seven. Yeah. Zargon's getting tired too. So he would have been seven, so he would have been to the right of the knight. Yeah. I thought you already searched for it, but I guess. Gave it I. Away. Well, yeah. The, well, no, I think I only got the search for trap so far. Zargon's mistake is your gain. <laughs> um. And then. We have the so alchemist. Get out my orange marker and start penciling in some traps right there. I wouldn't do that. Would I? Okay. Pencil in secret doors. The knight already searched for traps. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I'll take a secret door if you want to pencil it in. The uh oh man, what does the alchemist do? What what does he have left? Does he have two or three? One body point. Body point. Has one body point. You need a rundown of his potions. Uh his... no, he's got resist alchemy. He's got swift wind and no body left. Yeah. Oh. Strength, rejuvenation, wizardry, alchemy, magic resistance, both kinds, wolf's bane, magical aptitude. He's got the sling. All right. He's gonna um, he's gonna cast uh, the healing on the barbarian. Ah. Okay, to heal him back up to nine? Yes. Okay, so heal body is used up. And then he's going to move uh, two spaces to the left. All right. Okay, the, uh, the elf. The elf is next. One d six. Uh, the elf moves three spaces towards the halberdier. 
I guess to the left. Oh, he can't. Hey, never mind. All right, he's moving one space to the left. Uncommon feet. <laughs> okay. I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. I got. I could try uncommon feet to give him an extra space to get him around the corner. Go for it. All hey, right. got it. All, All right. right, so he's going to be he's going to be the Crowd one. Surfed. Over. You made it. Uh, so he'll search for the secret doors that the alchemist or no, that the rogue thought he already searched for. <laughs> Welcome to Truer WB. To Hero Quest fans, you can use your channel points, your gold coins in the chat there to influence the quest if you want. Help out the good guys, help out the bad guys, it's up to you. Alright, so he's searching for what again? Uh, he's going to search for the secret doors. That, okay, that yeah, the, uh, there are no secret doors. <laughs> yep. Yeah. For real now. Uh, Fair enough. Um, Honest man. Honest copy. man. Copy. The... Okay, then Knight is going to try to go... Oh, 11. He's going to head south all the way down to that bottom corner. Okay, he made it to the corner. He's got two more movement left. Uh, and then he's going to keep going and then search that bottom row for secret doors. No secret doors detected. All right. And then uh, Halberdier is going to move to the right of that closed door. Okay. That makes it your monster's turn. All right. All right, I think first we're going to move the halberdier here. Let's get my other camera. And he's going to attack. Oh, I should roll to see if they're elites here. Hold on. Black swordsman first. Gray swordsman. Gray swordsman is a an elite. All right, so roll for the halberdier. Is he elite? If he's elite, then the two gray ones can be elite. Oh, no, he's not. So just switch the... Oh, yeah, yeah you got a token. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, if you just switch them, it's either the black is elite, or if there's two of them, then the two gray are elite. But yeah, I saw your token. To remember it a little easier. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd printed that token out just a little smaller, but it is what it is. Okay, so the halibut air is just normal. He's going to attack. Diagonally, three skulls, barbarian. Wow, well, not that normal. Uh, not to be shown up. I will, drink, I will drink the potion of resilience. Yes, got it. Got it. Okay, so he's got two defense, so he'll roll seven. Just for this right, one. I blocked two. So okay. I take one. Wow. Down to eight. Okay, pushing resilience is used up. And you got your, I guess your elite guy coming at me. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. One, two, two. All right, so he would be rolling four black dice. Black dice. Two 
two skulls. Oh, lock them. Alright, it's back to regular. Back to five defense. Alright, so my other one, let's see. One, two, three, four. Just move him right behind. Alright, Barbarian, your turn. Alright. Packing. My DJ, sir. My DJ, sir. Molly's two black, two white. Dabby McStab. Dabby McStab. Oh, four. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I roll five blue. Five blue. Ching ching! Oh, but three. It's dead. All right. Killed the elite guy. All right, excellent. Got him. All right, rogue. Thanks to Ribby for the mentor bot with the colored dice and the white dice and all the other dice. <laughs> oh, sorry, I need to get the camera on the rogue. My bad. Wait, first close up. for movement. Yeah, I think I almost... I might have typed it in the other chat. <laughs> uh, nine. Okay. Uh, towards the... the southern door. Okay, just went down there. And then, um, we'll have the... Oh. The alchemist stay put. Um, and then have the elf. Uh, two spaces. Uh, to the south. And the night. About an eight. So, two spaces and open that door. Alright, opening the door. Just gotta read this here. One second. Okay, this is what's known as the bottomless chasm room. The bottomless chasm room. You see a yawning pit. And on the other side, 
you see a closed door. And see a couple of uh, evil crossbowmen. Here and here. I'll go ahead and roll for them. First for the black one. Gray one. Okay, they're both normal. Now I want to warn you that this bottomless pit is no joke. This crevice the divides this room can be jumped over as a pit, but any hero who falls into it is lost forever. So there you go, Knight. What do you think? I take a step to the left. Okay. Or two steps to the left. Yeah, two steps to the left. Now, in case you're wondering, that's not slippery ice. It's just a, just like a really long kick. And uh, how about Heroes, huh? The Halberdier is going to charge in that room and attempt to jump that uh, chasm. All right, everybody in the everybody in the uh, chat here is seeing this. Okay. So anything but a skull. Oh, it's a skull. Oh, he fell. Ah. Rumor has it he's still falling to this day. I'm oh, kidding. He can't really be bottomless. Unfortunately, Halberd Air was lost. But what bravery. All right. Join in next time for Sargon's turn. <laughs> ah, so we're gonna call it there. Okay, well. We yeah, my already wife's already there. my wife's already texting me. It's okay. two minutes past. Whoops. All right. Well, don't want to get you in trouble with the misses. No, so. it's I, I'm just I'm letting the dog out. And it's not bad. All right. Well, good game. Thanks for playing, Jacer. You have a great night. Uh, maybe we'll catch you Saturday. Maybe not, but. This was sure cool, sure sure fun to have you. All right. I was tempted to say, hey, one of you in the chat needs to jump in here. But honestly, I'm kind of tired too. And I do have a big day tomorrow. So I got to break all this down. Thanks for joining us in HeroQuest fans. Appreciate it. And I appreciate the pre-quest uh, debate <laughs> talk uh, with you and Ferg. So let's just see if there's anybody that we can raid here. Who do we have? Ah, we got Loot, Die, Repeat, Dungeons & Dragons. Do that. Exciting times. Thanks, True RWB. I think I said your name wrong first. I joined, but I've been packing for Yellowstone while listening. Yeah, don't fall into any geysers. So we'll be streaming again Saturday. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, I'm going to stop the stream. Thanks for joining us in HeroQuest fans once again. Uh, everybody check out Warbuilder J22, 22J uh, for um, Jacer J's stuff. Check us out in HeroQuest fans Discord. Okay, stopping the stream. We're going to do our raid.